Hi everyone, welcome back to Bounty Train. Here we are in the adventures of Jacob, White Owl and Walter, uh, whatever his name is. <laughs> Walter, our lead character. Walter's actually got a, a level up, so let's um, get Walter and see if we can uh, level his, uh, level him up and get a perk. So we've got uh, level 7 shooter. He's got a shooter! And he's got level 2 survival and what does survival do? Invulnerability for some time and a driver allows him to do uh, invulnerable train. Ooh, now that's a good perk. That is a good perk. Let's see what's on offer this time around. Survival skill experience plus one. Survival skill gain more experience by one percent. That's pretty good. Ranged weapon attack by plus one or morale. Increased morale. Stand still value. Um, so I'm. Te I don't really understand how morale works. So. Uh, he's got 100, I have 100 at the moment, so that's pretty good. So, ex experience in survival, or I'm going to go ranged weapons again, because I think ranged weapons are where it's at. Choose. Oh! Agility, plus one. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't read it the second time around, I should have read it. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, not to worry, so we're in Cincinnati, and if you remember, we have... Uh, have to find our family now I've, I've just clicked on a few buttons and I've found some things I hadn't seen before so if you click on the money you get the full trading in the States which is pretty sweet and the miles to it that's pretty nice that's a nice feature and uh, on the shares percentage you bring that up and you can see we've got 22% with ourselves uh, our read and ourselves Walter Reed so we've got 22% in the vote, um, but old uh, Snugglepuss here, whatever his name was, Cornelius, he's got all these. He's got, oh, S. Reed and P. Reed. Ah, right, that's going to be Stephen and, um, there, hang on, and M. Reed. These are, our, these are our cousins, brothers and sisters, sorry. We need to get them on our side, because we haven't spoken to them. So we need to get them on our side to shift the, uh, the wings of power a little bit. And then we have to speak to Drew, Fisk, Goot. Uh, Gould, Stanford, Hopkin, and Crocker. All right, Crocker. Um, look at him. That's a, that's a fantastic beard. To get the power our way. Anyway, um, so I was just having a look at the um, the prices, and Cincinnati is pretty crap when it comes to buying anything. Uh, so its best deal it's got is alcohol by thirty four. Uh, which we need to go back to Pittsburgh because we can't afford to go that way. So we're going to have to go to Pittsburgh and do some trading. Oops, cancel that. That was a mistake. Um, which, so alcohol, we could... Oh, hang on, wait. 23, uh, sorry, 34, and we could sell for 39. That's, uh, we could potentially make a very small profit. But we do have to go past the Indians, the Cherokee. So I'm thinking... Let's just chance it and go to um, the next stop with no cargo and see if they'll bring us in for trading. Oh my goodness, we've got a hole in our train. We're going to need some coal. So let's get some coal. Uh, and then we're going to head to Pittsburgh. Yes. And hopefully... Hello, friend. How much do they want? Okay. Uh... Okay, we're going to pay. Oh, that was costly. I was hoping they'd take us in and uh, allow us to do some trading. Yes, we reached Pittsburgh. Right, we've got to do some trading now because we are broke as broke things. We've got 48 bucks. Any jobs going? No. Rubbish. Um, who's Bennett? Leave me be. I'm in quite some trouble and I don't know how to get out of it. Maybe I can help if you've got the money. Uh, rifle delivery to Knoxville. Uh, let's... Where's Knoxville? Where's Knoxville? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. No, we're not going down there. That cost us far too much. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. That's that's a no-go, I'm afraid. Um, so what we're going to have to do... We have to do some trading. There's, there's nothing else here. These two guys are looking for a job. Oh, Robert. He's our... Is our oh, that's our brother. Uh, thanks, brother. See you later. Bye. Um... So let's see what we can trade. Uh, and what we'll do, we'll go, we'll go back to. Oh, damn, we've got some bandits there. 
what we got in Pittsburgh then? We can buy iron for 16 or oil for 11. Sell oil uh, for 25 or okay, that's that. So that's 14. What was iron? Iron was 16 to 38. So that's oh, that's that's a lot more. That's 22, which is pretty good. Um, although that will be quite heavy, and we might not be able to train might not be able to chug, chug it but we'll see we're gonna see oh and we've got hardly any money either that's the problem we're gonna we're gonna need some coal we have to buy some coal uh four tons of coal it's gonna be 28 bucks it leaves us 20 bucks we're gonna have to go with oil oh no we didn't ah. we'll take one then we're gonna that's all we can afford this is not looking good. This could be the end of the game, guys. This could be the end of the game. Let's go to uh, to there then. We're gonna have to go past this bandit camp. It's a firing buffalo. Hey, if you want to get through here, you're gonna have to give us a little donation. Get your own goods, scummy outlaws. Right, here we go. Stand by. Oh, here they go. Right. White Owl, get there. Get ready with your boat. We might need to get rid of White Owl, because I like White Owl, but um, in all honesty, um, oh, there's going, okay, we're going to stop the train. Stop the train. And we'll pick on this guy. Right, out, load on this guy, load on this guy. White Owl, come, come, come there, bud. Come there. Can you get him? Can you go there? There you go, White Owl. They're all unloading on this guy now. How many are there? How many bandits are there? Do we know? There's nine of them. Damn it. Okay. Walter, get this guy. All unload on this guy. He's got the dynamite guy. White Owl can finish this guy off. Let's zoom in for a bit of close action. Come on, do not take my train out. Okay. Walter's getting some bad damage. Right, Walter. You need to you need to get back here, bud. You're um you're taking some punishment. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you. I want you to uh, keep gunning this guy. Okay, this is this is going to be close. We may not survive any longer. Oh, there's another dynamite guy. This is not going good. Get this guy. Get this guy. White owl. Get this guy. Oh, he can't. Uh, can you come there? Come on! Use that range skill I just gave you. Finish him off. Oh, Walter's almost dead. Okay, dynamite guy's down. Right, Walter. Get back here. He's in a bad way, is old Walter. Can you come there, White Owl? Will that give you range to get these guys? Get him. Come on, use your Cherokee skills. Load on this guy. Come on. Walter, can you can you just can you shoot from a distance? Can you run? no no Walter's Walter's out for the count. He's uh, he's not looking good, is he? Anyway, we got him down. We got three down. Come on. Come on, White Owl. Oh, he's rubbish. Good old Jacob here. He's. Uh, we might need to get offload White Owl because, um, bless him, he's not. He's not exactly uh, awesome with his bow, is he? He's good in close combat with his old hatchet. Okay, five to go. There's there's four of them. Was it? Where's the fifth? We're just gonna have to. Uh, Okay, Walter. Oh, here he comes. He's just a normal. He's just a normal dude. That's good. That's good. We don't have to worry about a. Um... We don't have to worry about a, a dynamite guy. So that's pretty good. Right, Walter. I need you on the train. Let's get this train rocking a little bit forward, shall we? Can we get the train moving? Okay. 
Right. Yank on the brake. Let's get um, Walter out of there. Come on, Walter. I'm not... Careful, White Owl. Come on, Jacob. We need you to uh, finish these guys off. Get this guy in there. Can you come there? Can you can you get any range? No, not quite. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. White Owl's down. Uh-oh. No! Walter's giving it. Go on! Come on, Walter. Let's finish him off. He's off. He's off. He's out of it. He's running. Okay, well done, Walter. No, wait. He's coming back. Oh, look at this guy. He's just hanging on by inch, inch of his life. Come on. Come on, Walter. Finish him off. Yes, good shooting, Walter. Two down. Only two to go. Okay, take a deep breath, everyone. We're, um, reload, reload, reload. Okay. Walter, we're going to have to bring the train forward a little bit. Unfortunately, we've lost White Owl. We'll have to mourn him later. Can you, can, Walter, can you get the train moving just a wee bit? Thanks, bud. Uh, I know you're in amount, huge amounts of pain. Go on, Jacob. Finish this guy off. Oh, look at that shot. Brilliant. Get him all. Uh oh. Go on, it's a reload. Go on, Walter. Finish him off. Well done. Well done. Okay. Who are you shooting at over here? What's that bush ever done to you, Walter? Leave him leave the bush alone. Leave the bush alone. All right, Walter, I need you back on the train. You just you just get the train moving. And uh, Jacob's gonna finish this guy off. Come on, Jacob. Quickly before Walter dies. Oh my god, this is close. Go on. Go on, Jacob. Get him. Good shot. Finish him off, Walter. Yes! Whoa! Yes! Come on! We got some... We got 250 bucks, which is, means that we're back in the game. We've also got some looted items. We've got some alcohol. Oh, let's all take a moment for poor White Owl. Hopeless with a bow. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder his tribe pushed him out if he was that rubbish. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. We've somehow made it to Philadelphia. My goodness, what a tough challenge that was. Uh, let's sell the uh, the alcohol for twenty profit, and we'll sell the uh, the iron as well. Wow, that was tough. That was really, really tough. Um, any jobs going? We need some jobs. Here we go. Uh, eight sacks of um, tobacco to Chicago within 21 days, which would net us 630 bucks, which would be quite nice. Or 400 bucks would net us uh, four alcohol barrels delivered to Portland within 17 days. Oh, that's what. Hang on, where are we? Let's just check us our location. So we've got New York, Portland's up there. Uh, we could do that. We could do that, you know. We could do that. I think we're going to do some trading between these state, uh, these these towns, because we desperately need to do some trading because we are struggling. Right, let's let's check out any new vacancies. Here's Owen. Hard times. I'm looking for a job. My services will cut. Get out of town. Elias, 185 bucks. Ooh. Tell me more about yourself. He's a survivor. He's a survivor. Do 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 do. Yeah, anyway. Um. Damage. Okay, so he's, he's uh, maybe later. Simon, are you looking for a job? Do you send Mr. Buffalo? No. Okay, okay, we're not going to pick up anyone here. Uh, right. So what we're going to do? Fire in Buffalo. Is that a job? City out of goods and urgently needs food and steel in the next ten days. Food and steel in the next ten days. Oh, okay. Where's Buffalo? Buffalo. Uh, so food. 
It's not the prices aren't that good. <laughs> I, I listen to me, the heartless businessman. But seriously, um, so we're going to going to go to New York next. Uh, what we could potentially take is some tobacco for nine, and we could sell it in New York for twenty-two, or alcohol for twenty-nine and sell it for no. We're going to take tobacco. Take tobacco to New York, New York. Sorry. Let's try that again. Uh, let's go here. Um, there's also Chicago, Portland. Take four alcohol barrels, and that'll be worth. We'll we'll do that. We're gonna take. We're gonna go back to Portland. Um, let's head in here. They've loaded the alcohol barrels, but we'll fin we'll fill up on tobacco. Four tobacco, perfect. Let's fill up on some coal as well. Twenty-eight. So we've got two hundred forty-eight bucks left, and we've got a full wagon. Let's head out to um, New York, do some trading, make some money, get this show back on the road. Yes, we really do want to stop in New York. Brilliant. Anything in New York? Do you want any tobacco? Fur delivery uh, to Louisville. No, we're not going that way. Uh, we've got some people to chat to here, which is great. But let's just head into the market and sell the tobacco. 52 bucks profit. Okay, we're back in the game. Uh, let's get some... Oh, we'll worry about the coal in a minute. Let's hop back to the station and check out these people. So we've got Jerome here. Hello, stranger. My name is Jerome Crosby. Hard times. I'm looking for a job. My skills will cost you 250 205 sorry. Uh, you're a trader. Uh, no, I'm really looking for um, somebody who's a little bit... Hello. It's old evil Snagglepuss himself. Cornelius Timbernard. Timbernard. Um, please, sir, step away. I'm much too busy to be speaking with a low-life railroad hustler such as yourself. Yeah, whatever. The, whatever. Joseph! Uh, thank you for delivering my medical paper on time. It's already selling like crazy out there. Do you think it's going to make you rich? What's the secret of your special paper? Okay. Rich, my friend, it's going to make my name legendary. Americans will be thanking me for many generations. Yes, sir. Gaiety. Is it Gaiety? Uh, will be a household name in no time. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Best of luck in all your future endeavours. Dwight. Ah, we don't have your money, but you look like... You look just like Jacob, in fact. Uh, let's have a look at your skills. Oh, you're a rifleman as well. I uh, can't afford you. Um, but what about August? Now, look at this rogue. He looks perfect. August O'Neill. Hello, strange. Wow. Looking for a job for 760 bucks. You don't need a job if you've got 760 bucks. Tell me about yourself. Level 6 shooter. Yeah. Can't afford you, bud. But yes, that sounds awesome. Let's heal poor Walter. Um, one buck to heal Jacob. We might as well do it. And Jacob's leveled up. Brilliant. So we can get him a perk. He's got Rifleman times 10, Cannoneer times 1, and Survivor times 2. Brilliant. Okay, so perk. Uh, critical chance. Increased chance of a melee weapon. Uh, critical hit by one. Increased character lead uh, skill by one. Uh, turret skill experience. Let's go critical chance. Perk. He's got two, is he? Right. Uh, willpower. Increase the character's willpower by one. Rifle skill experience by one. Experience. Adds character experience by 15% of the current level. Rifle skill, let's get rifle skill up, because he's, he's good with his rifle, so if you can... Wow, another perk as well. Um, rifle skill plus one, critical chance, uh, is this the same? Experience then? Rifle skill. Did he level up a couple of bits then? Is that what happened? I'm not really sure. That just seemed to glitch out and we have to... Anyway, we're going to head to Portland. Um, let's have a look in the city. I think I already did this for delivery. Yes, okay. Let's just do a quick check. So from New York, we're going to go to Boston. There's some more Cherokees there. What we can do, actually, is go between New York and Philadelphia for a bit to try and make rate, make some cash. So New York is selling alcohol for 26. Uh, they're not buying it. Okay, they are iron for 21. Iron for 38. Okay, we'll, we'll buy some iron and go back. Um, because... 
that's the only way we're going to get out of this scrape. So, iron. Oh, let's, uh... So let's head back to Philadelphia. We've got actually we've got some alcohol on board, which we're probably not going to make some money on it. But yes, I've just noticed the engines are gone. So what we can do is get some coal. Oh my goodness, this is the long way of doing things. Um, two point one. So we'll buy twenty one, and then we'll head hitchhike it straight back to New York. Go. We'll stop off, get some more coal in New York. Where did he come from? This game's trying to troll me now. Right, where are these guys? This is probably going to be the end of us. We've only got two people defending our train, which is not good. Here they come. Get the horse! Shoot the horse! That sounds awful, but it's the, the easiest way. Don't don't just shoot them! You've got you've got guns! Shoot them with the guns! Okay, he's trying to nick the carriage. Walter, get this guy. Come, Walter, finish him off. Come on, fifty cuffs in the back carriage. Oh yes. Well done. Okay. Oh, got another one. Jacob, get this guy. Okay, this is getting really intense now. Also, you need to get on this guy. Jacob, get back, get back, get back. Right, we'll 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 unhitch, unhitch. Come on, finish him off. This is this is this is intense. This we come on. There's more coming in. There's more coming in quickly. Can we unhitch the carriages? Can we leave the last carriage? Maybe. Come on, finish him off, Walter. There we go. Walter, get on the train. Get the train moving. Jacob, get here. Get defending it. Get defending us. Why do they have one shot guns? This is rubbish. So, uh, unhitch. There we go. We're going to leave that carriage behind. We just had to do it. Okay, one down. Come on, there's only a couple there. Finish them off, guys. Come on, this is this is intense. We can do this. Good shot, Jacob. Walter, you might need to get on the old pistol Rooney's in a minute. We've got two bandits incoming. Get him. Oh, I hope there's not a... Walter, you need to get this guy. Walter, get in here. You're, you're really badly damaged. You need to just get in here. Jacob will see him off. Go on, Jacob. You're our hero. Friend of the family. Trusted friend of the family. Get this guy. Well done, Jacob. You're a legend. Come on. One more. Load, reload, and get this guy off. Come on. You can do this. Come on, Jacob. Family name. Yes! Well done, Jacob. We lost a carriage. But we killed 10 bandits, 230 buckaroos. Yes, yes, come on. Yeah. This is tough. <laughs> this is tough. Do you wish it? Yes, please. Oh, my goodness me. We've made New York. Let's, let's heal these guys up. 88 bucks. Oh, well done, guys. You have been... Walter's got um, a healing. Please have... Evasion. Increase your character's evasion chance. That'd be quite good. Willpower. That'd be quite good. Survival skill, gain more experience. I'm going to do evasion. Brilliant. 
Reduce damage receiving. Okay, we, actually, we should pick up the, the, um, the survivor skill. Right, we've got a full carriage. Let's get some um, some coal, and hopefully we can make make it to Boston without any further complications. Right, let's get a few more bits of coal, and don't anyone pop up along the way. Go, woo woo, chugga 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 chugga, woo woo. Yes, we made it to Boston. Okay. Do you want any alcohol by any chance? Fur delivery, no. Okay, we're going to sell four alcohols. Now we're going to sell four of them. For 177 profit. Sweet! We need that, the other four, for Portland, of course. And we've got seven days left. We need to make it to Portland. Okay. Let's check out who we got. Ephraim! Hello, my name's Ephraim. We can't afford you, Ephraim. <laughs> Yak Joaquin! 205. Ooh, potentially. Tell me about yourself. Oh no, we've got we got, we've lost the carriage. We can't afford to have another passenger. Um Right, so what do we have? We have a group of bandits. Oh no, and now we've got a camp on that side, civilian camp on that side. Right, so we're gonna probably have to try and take on the bandits. With 339 bucks. Hmm. We could probably sit it out, but we'd lose our time. And um and our days we can we, we need so um, things aren't looking good. What is Boston selling potentially? Oil for twelve. They're buying oil for twenty-five. That's quite good. Tobacco for nine. Tobacco for thirty-five. Okay, so we, we can load up on oil, um, or we could just try and make a run to the bandits and hope they want less than three hundred and thirty-nine dollars. We'll leave that next time though. Um, because that could be quite a tough one uh, and yeah I'll have a think about that one as we go so I'll leave it there guys that's been quite a ch oh, that's been quite a challenging episode this is getting harder and harder we were yeah, there was a time when we made a lot of money quite quickly um, and I think I might do a lot of um, a lot of um, money uh, trading off screen to try and bring us up because we are struggling for cash big time the problem is the um, the camps and the bandits and the Indians, they keep spawning up just as you're literally going past them and it costs you money every time or you have a fight and it costs you damages and everything. So um, it's a really attritional game, really attritional. Um, but we still have our mission, the overall mission to get the family and the shares against Cornelius, but we also have the mission to get the alcohol delivered to Portland in seven days. So we'll do that next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments, as always, leave in the section below. I do enjoy reading them. And join me next time for the further adventures of Walter Reed, Jacob the Rifleman, on our steam train through North America in Bounty Train. So I'll see you next time.